What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. I'm in my bathroom and I just want to show you something. This is a, a shower that was clearly done in the 80s. I've kind of taken the door off already. But you can see the tile is not in great shape. I mean the tile is actually in good shape, but it's kind of gross. I hate this tan color. I hate that brown grout. Uh, the tile on the floor, pretty gross. I don't know why they totally did it in a different color. And, you know, it's not physically not working. It's just way, way out of date. And then if we take a look at my tub over here, same deal. Part of this is what well, tubs are kind of a little out of date. But as I'm doing a facelift on this uh, whole bathroom, one of the things that I wanted to show you is that um, the tile here in brown, this tub, which is kind of like in a tan too, for whatever reason, can all be refinished. Uh, reglazing, refinishing, painting, whatever you call it. And so I have a guy, Tony, coming to do it. He's done it uh, on different bathrooms and products for me before. Basically, it's a, I don't know, simple process of masking off everything you don't want, reglaze. And then he applies some sort of acid or some sort of etching material uh, onto all of the surfaces to kind of, you know, give them a tackiness so that they'll take to the new ceramic or um, spray or whatever he puts on their enamel. And then he basically uses it like a, you know, an industrial spray gun and sprays everything. Now, he only does one color. I know that there are companies out there that do multiple colors or um, kind of different designs or textures, textures I should say. Um, so he only does kind of bright white and I think it looks good. I think it's going to give it a facelift. It's going to make it a little more like um, sanitary looking. It'll give it a little more clean, elegant look. And it'll kind of brighten everything up without having spent a lot of money on it. So um, I have him coming and we will take a look at the results when he is done. And so here it is after the completion. So what they do is they do mask off everything, including your shower hardware or whatever, uh, including the drain. Um, but then... And then they uh, just apply this new enamel like spray paint. So you are going to have to kind of cover up the things in your bathroom if you have, you know, dark hardwood or uh, vanities and things like that. But um, it is a bright, bright, sterile, hospital-like white, which I absolutely love. Gives it uh, kind of a fresh, sanitary... Uh, refreshed look that I think is going to be really helpful for facelifting a bathroom. Now, in my case, because this was old and there were kind of a lot of high and low spots, especially in the grout, they said, um, they did a couple of coats. So understand that if you have, you know, a bathroom that may need a little more work, typically in the past, it's taken about 24 hours for it to cure. But in my case, they said, leave it for 48 hours, uh, maybe even a little longer. So you do want to have good ventilation and I have the fan on and uh, my windows open to kind of vent it out because there is certainly kind of a strong smell, but especially kind of as you saw on the floor where it was really kind of gross. I mean, now it just looks like a, a new white shower. And then on the, the bathtub, the same thing. So. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to pull off all the the paper and the protection around uh, the edge here, and we'll take a look at the finished product. So, just to remind you, here is the before. With all its brown glory. And this is the after. So if you want bright porcelain white, this is the way to do it. Obviously, you can see it here. I've taken off most of the masking. Um, you know, a couple things that you want to be careful of. Right there, I pulled away the masking a little fast and pulled off some wall. So a couple things that you might want to keep in mind is you may actually have to touch up paint in some areas, especially where the... Um, the enamel meets paint or, you know, grout or anything like that. Uh, so just be prepared to do some touch-up. Obviously, you're going to have to let it cure, uh, you know, and you may have a little bit of overspray, like here on the, uh, the chrome here. There's a little bit of that enamel. You could probably get that off if you really wanted to, but, 
you know, I think of this as kind of, you know, an easy and quick option to give your rooms a little bit of a facelift. Like, you know, I didn't like the color of this tub, obviously, so that was my big thing. But if you have chips or something like that in the tub, I know a lot of people will go for liners. This keeps all that additional, that same hardware. You don't need to put additional hardware in. You don't have the installation time and the fitting and all of that. You know, you don't have really two pieces of hardware, just one masking another. You're, you're still using all your same things, so you know it's going to be a, a good fit. And I think it just gives it a, a really bright white, kind of nice, clean, finished look. Um, obviously, it's going to be a little while before you can put back in, like, the drain cover there. And, um, you know, before you can use it, obviously. Uh, you know, I, I've always given mine 24, 48 hours, um, or even a little longer. So, you know, you just want to keep that in mind. So if you don't have a second bathroom to use, you're going to want to... Uh, go somewhere else or bathe out of a, uh, a Tupperware bin or something like that. But, like I said, for a one-day job, the, the, the crew that came here started at 8 a.m. and were finished at 1. And so this did take, because of, this, because of the combination here, um, you know, five solid hours for two guys. And the cost was about 1300 bucks. So, you know... If I've also had just a shower, a tub like this that was also a shower done for about 500 bucks. So, you know, that's kind of, you can kind of interpret and extrapolate what the price might be for your project. But I think quick, easy, uh, limited downtime and looks great. And the last thing that you, you're probably wondering is sprayed on enamel, how good is it? Obviously, you know, they do some sort of etching, some sort of acid on it and then wipe it down before they apply it and wash everything down before they apply it. Um, you know, I've had this done again on a different bathroom, the tub and the tile, and have used that shower daily. And it's it was done uh, five, six years ago without a problem. I mean, you know, it still looks fantastic. So kind of take that for what it's worth, but uh, reglazing, refinishing ceramic tile, I think is a super cool way of giving your bathroom or your project a bit of a facelift. Peter Rompanda, out.